I still didn't feel how my baby is moving. Is it okay? Should I go to the doctor? Should I call someone? How do I know that the baby is alive? In the internet I read that there are so many problems with the little fetus. The baby didn't kick for about two hours. Uh, how do I know that it's okay? Should I go to the doctor every day now? What do I do? How do I check on it if it's inside me? Hello you guys! So if you have ever had this kind of panic, you are in the right video. Because today I want to talk with you about my fatal Doppler contact Sonoline 8. This is a pocket fatal Doppler. So what is a fatal Doppler? A fatal Doppler is a machine used mostly by doctors. Starting from about week 15, the doctor will be checking on your baby's heart every visit and they're using the professional fatal Dopplers or in my case, actually I was very surprised, but my doctor in Russia used the same fatal Doppler that I have. So you, how it works, you basically just put some gel on your belly and then you hear your baby's heart. I will show you right now. So this is what's inside the box. As you can see, this is the Doppler itself and they always put a little tube of gel this gel is more than enough for all your pregnancy because later you will just start feeling your baby kicking and you will not need this fatal doppler anymore or not that often so what you do as you can see my baby is here she's moving now so all i need to do is to put some gel on the doppler it is working from the batteries, if you want to know, so it's just two batteries. Some gel here. You can put it uh, on the Doppler or directly on your belly, as you wish. And as you can see, it's working already. And now you just need to find your place. And that's it, so you can see that it's very easy to use. So, uh, I will tell you about pros and cons of uh, having a fatal Doppler at home, and then you can make the informed decision if you need it or not. The pros if this is your first baby and you are as terrified and easy to panic as I am then this is something that you need just to keep you calm because if you are calm and not stressed your baby is fine your baby is calm and it's developing just perfectly so in order to avoid stress for yourself and your little baby inside you fatal doppler is really good to have uh, one of the other pros is that if you're having some issues with the baby and you cannot afford going to the doctor every single day or even like twice or three times a week then you can use the Doppler to check on your baby and go to the doctor only if you have some doubts or if you're feeling that something is wrong because trust me your mother's instinct is gonna help you all the time so listen to yourself but do not panic too much uh, the next pro is if you are a kind of person who likes to keep everything under control and you want to know, for example, uh, that your baby's uh, heart rhythm is in the norm because, you know, there are a lot of tables in the internet that you can find or in the books of the norm of the heart baby rate on every month, even on every week, I guess. So if you're going to use it, you can count... Uh, your baby's heart rhythm and then see whether it's inside the norms or outside and consult your doctor if you are having any issues or any questions. Also with this Doppler for instance uh, you can take it with you and if you're 
uh, far from your doctor or if you miss the appointment uh, you can check on the baby of course it's not going to be as thorough as you would do it at the doctor's office but if uh, you really ne need to go somewhere if you like sick and cannot visit the doctor, if you have the, some kind of emergency, then you can use uh, this Doppler just, just to be sure, you know. And one of the other uh, pros is that you can actually connect this Doppler to your computer and record your baby's heart rate. So if you're not doing it at the doctor's office, you can easily do it at home. For example, none of my doctors have ever asked me, like, yeah, even asked me if I wanted to record my baby's heart rhythm, which would be nice, I guess, like to hear it the first time when you're on the sixth week and you hear your baby's heart for the first time. Um, good times, good times. And then, yeah, you can just buy this Doppler and use it at home. And one of the other pro is that, that there are so many different models right now on the market and you can select any according to your budget. Now the cons. Why you shouldn't buy the Fatal Doppler? Well, about when you are about like 15 weeks, uh, especially with the first one, with the first one it's a little bit later, uh, you already start feeling the baby moving inside you. So you don't actually need to check on the baby every time, you can actually feel it. Starting from about 15 weeks, uh, it can be later or earlier, it depends on your pregnancy, it depends on you individually, you will start feeling your baby, so the fetal Doppler may not be needed anymore. And the issue is that most of the Dopplers that are not super expensive, for example, this one I bought for like 3,000 rubles, uh, which is a little less than $300. It's a nice price, like $250. It's not very expensive. Uh, so, for example, with this one, and it's not like the cheapest one, but it's also not the most expensive one. Here it is said that you can start hearing your baby's heart only from the week 12. So you will be using it like for three weeks. You should decide whether it's worth it or not. And the other con that I have is that if you're not a professional, if you're not a doctor, it might be hard for you to find your baby's heart. Even though it is there, the baby's alive, the baby's okay, everything is fine. But just because you are not qualified enough or you don't have enough practice with this kind of uh, Doppler, then you might have some issues with finding the baby's heart. And then you will start panicking even more because you're like, you know, like, oh, I felt my baby kicking yesterday. It's not kicking for for a day and I cannot find the heart like oh my god oh my god you start stressing out and then you run to the doctor and the doctor says everything is okay you stop panicking just calm down your baby's perfectly fine you know so if you are sure you will not panic uh, even if you don't find the baby's heart then okay I'll just spend more time on it <laughs> because it is there trust me at first, I had like, I needed like 10 minutes to find where my baby was. Okay, so these are all pros and cons that I have for you. And just to explain why I needed to have uh, this Doppler. Uh, this is my first pregnancy and I was completely alone during the first four months of it. My parents didn't know about it, my friends didn't know about it, my boyfriend was far away. So I really was alone, I had just my cat around, nothing else, and then even no cat. But yeah, I was completely alone and sometimes when I came back from work or when I was using internet too much, you know, just to make sure that this symptom is okay and then you read the internet and you find that this symptom means that you are gonna die and so on so yeah i was panicking a lot that's why i bought this doppler 
and I bought it in the day when I had some blood coming out of my vagina. Fortunately, it was just uh, an internal bruise. It was nothing bad with a baby. It was everything was okay. But because I was alone, because I'm so easy to get panic, I bought this Doppler. I can't say that I used it very often during my pregnancy. I used it more often. Uh, in the moment when we found out that the baby has got a loop around its neck just to make sure that it has enough or enough oxygen that it's fine you know then I was using it uh, regularly like every other day so I bought it just because I was panicking and then to check if my baby was fine with a loop on the neck so now you know the reason why I bought this Doppler and uh, to sum up I want to say that it's completely up to you whether to buy it or not it is super individual I try to give you all the information that I have so that you can make a wise decision have a nice easy pregnancy and easy labor Hopefully because I'm 38 weeks now, so I'm thinking about it a lot. So, easy pregnancy, easy labor, have a perfect day, and goodbye guys. Don't forget to subscribe! <laughs>